All right, we're back, and we're just about to nail this Bayesian naive Bayes classifier. And so I last time I made a little flub here. This I was uh, I put I kept the k, but I dropped the product over k's, and I should have made this a y because we only kept the, the ones where where y equal where k equal y. So then down here this should be let's see this should be a y, and this should be a this should be a y. And that's why. And um, let me just verify here that I, I sort of claimed, or I gave a little justification for why the sum of these was equal to cy. But let me let me give you a little bit more formal argument here. This is the sum of indicators. Well, let me put it up here so I have room. This is the sum of indicator functions from i as i goes from one to n, that's all our data points, the indicator that xi j equals l times the indicator that yi equals k. And so let's let's take that and we'll we'll remember that and write it down here. We'll do this do this sum. So this is so this is a little aside. The sum over L D, J, K of L is the sum over L of the in, of the sum over I from 1 to N indicator X, I, J equals L times the indicator that Y, I equals K. I think that was what it was, isn't it? Y, I equals K, X, I, right. And here the sum over the L's is, let's see, what is L is all the possible values that, that X might take, right? So that's L from 1 to, I think we said, capital N. Okay, and now if we switch these sums, we can always do that because this is just these are just finite sums here. So if we switch the sums, then inside, well, what depends on L? Only this one. So we get a sum over I from 1 to N, we can pull out the indicator for y i equals k and the sum for which the sum sum for l moves in and that's this indicator sum over l of the indicator that x i j equals l but this is just at every you know every feature x i j equals l for some l so this and, and, and it equals some L for some L and exactly one, right? It just takes only one of those values, so this is just one. And so this whole thing is just the indicator over i's of, or the sum over i's of indicator that yi equals k, and that's just the number of i's such that yi equals k. And so this, and right, this was cy. That's what we defined to be cy. Number of i such that y equals k. Okay, so that was just a little little side note, just just to verify that um, that little argument. All right, I think we've we've got it now. We got so we had this was our predictive distribution. That was the thing that we needed to get our hands on to do our classification and we got this well at least proportional to this nice little expression and let's let's write it all out let's write out what what we got here just to just to make it all satisfying result so the pr predictive distribution posterior predictive distribution is proportional to alpha y plus c y divided by alpha 0 plus n times the product over j from 1 to d the betas beta x j plus d j y of x j divided by beta 0 plus c y that is our result and this is this is a beautiful thing because well, let me say first why why this proportional to is satisfactory. 
because remember that in order to do classification, we want to predict a y hat that maximizes this probability. So over all y's, we want to choose the y that maximizes this predictive distribution. That's our optimal choice of y to minimize the, our misclassification rate. And in, since this is proportional with respect to y, then maximizing something which is proportional is the same as, I mean, as long as it's positive proportionality, and this, in this case it is, maximizing that is the same as maximizing this thing. And so we can just take the maximum over this expression, the y which maximizes this expression, and that's, that gives us the same value, y hat. So this is it. This is our, our beautiful Bayesian, fully Bayesian classifier, or naive Bayes. So let's let me just let's go back through real quickly and and remind you what made this a Bayesian approach and what were the key steps so we can sort of understand what's going on here. So we the naive Bayes part was just this original setup here where we had our the, the features were conditionally independent given the class and given theta. And then we put some priors down. We put some priors down on our parameters. That was this part here. These were our priors. And then, so that was the first, the first step to being Bayesian was we put some priors. And then we wanted to compute this posterior, or this posterior predictive distribution. So we, the next thing was we integrated out our parameters. And in a fully Bayesian approach, you you do the you know you actually do the integral or you know you, you I mean that that's the the ideal thing rather than just approximating it by an, a point estimate like an MLE or MAP and to be fully Bayesian you integrate out your parameters and when we're doing that here so we we were integrating these out and we wanted to we wrote down these expressions for the different parts of the integral and then we got down to this so this step this was the key this was really the key, one of the, the key things that made the computation work. We used the fact that the Dirichlet is a conjugate prior for the categorical. And so we could express these as, oh wait, that shouldn't be, sorry, that shouldn't be equal. That should be, that's an error. That should be proportional to, this is proportional to, as a function of pi, and uh, the, oh, so the reason why that's sufficient. So this is the well, this is this is the this is the Dirichlet categorical conjugacy, and that was a necessary step. And this is proportional to this with respect to pi, and it's also proportional with respect to y. Y doesn't show up in here at all, right? These are all just the um, Wait, why? Oh, yeah. Why? Why does? Yeah, yeah. Right. It's proportional with respect to to y also, because these these yi's were our data points, and this y this is the the y that we're we're going to choose to classify. So that this y doesn't even show up in this expression, so it's obviously proportional with respect to that. And the reason why this is okay is that back up here, as long as so that was that was our that was our a here. And as long as this is proportional with respect to y and theta, it also needs to be proportional with respect to theta because we're integrating over theta. So it's okay, even though this is inside the integral, it's okay that this is just proportional um, because you know the constant of proportionality, since it doesn't depend on theta, it comes out of the integral. So if um, you know. That's that's the reason why. Okay, so oh, sorry sorry about that little that little um, misstep there. So this was the this was a, a really a key fact in this this derivation was that the Dirichlet is con conjugate prior, and that allowed us to express these this the factors in this integral in closed form in terms of these Dirichlet distributions, these densities. And then the other key step was 
not, not only that we could get that posterior distribution on the parameters, that was what, what we did here in this A, basically, basically this was getting these, the posterior distribution on the parameters. That was basically what we were doing. And then down here, the other key thing which made this work was that we were able to analytically compute this integral. And the reason why we were able to do that was just because these the values that we were integrating over were these were just values of these these uh, categorical distributions, and so these just turned into nice little expected values that we could just we could factor this whole thing. There was no dependencies between them. Everything factored beautifully, and we could just write down some nice and easy easy expressions for these means of these Dirichlets. And that was what made it all work. That was th those were sort of the key steps that made this whole this whole Bayesian naive Bayes approach work. So this is in some sense the the ideal situation for this is an, an ideal case for a Bayesian a Bayesian type of approach because it's uh, most of the time or a lot of the time we, we won't be able to get an exact expression for something which is proportional to the to what we're looking for like the posterior predictive we'll only have to settle for some some approximation but this is this is a, a a great a great example this bayesian naive bayes to illustrate the main ideas of bayesian bayesian inference in a real situation i mean this this is a classifier that that it, it does something real it's a i mean it this is a this is a this is a real example. This is Bayesian inference. All right. So we'll stop there, and um, and we'll leave it at that for our Bayesian naive Bayes.